Today I'm going to show you how to change the automatic lift gate motor on a 2011 Honda Odyssey. This is the EXL version. This is the motor right here that lifts the, the gate and also lowers it down automatically. These are some of the tools you'll need. You'll just need a 12 millimeter wrench. This is a ratcheting wrench. It makes it a lot easier. And then these are just various sizes of 10 millimeter sockets and then a flathead screwdriver just for prying off a fuse box cover. This is the new lift gate motor. This is the part number for the lift gate motor. It's 74961TK8305. Make sure to get the right part for your particular year and model. If you go to the dealership, they can look up the part based on your VIN number. Disconnect the negative battery terminal. Remove these right here and right here right here those just twist off next you want to remove this as well it twists off by hand take this fuse cover off it'll allow you to peel the the plastic siding away easier you just put a little screwdriver in and pop it off. then you want to very carefully pry this part off If you just carefully go along the edge, you can get it all loose. Just be very careful. Like I said, it's fragile. Now you want to unplug this. This is the motor in here. There's a few bolts here, up in here. There's just a few that you'll have to undo. You'll also have to unplug these. I'm sure you could probably remove the paneling more, but this should be enough to allow me to get in and get the motor replaced. Up here, you'll have to pull this away very carefully and there's a couple of bolts in there that you'll need to mount the new motor piece onto. Pry this plastic away from the side so that you can get to the bolts here for this arm. You don't have to worry about the lift gate falling once you disconnect this arm as long as your struts are working well. Next you'll need a 12 millimeter either a wrench or a socket to get these two bolts off. There's one right there and then one back there. Next you want to unplug these two switches. If you notice they just have a little tab you got to be real careful not to break these. The motor has three mounting points here, here, and here. And those are all held on by a 10 millimeter bolt. When the motor is mounted, it's at a strange angle, this top bolt. So you'll want to remove that one first and then go to the other two. The next bolt is up in here. It's kind of hard to get to. This one's a little tricky because you have to kind of work around the seat belts but it's just right up in here and it's a 10 millimeter as well. Start unbolting it with your 10 millimeter ratchet. Keep in mind be very careful in this area as there are side curtain airbags. That's why as I mentioned before you want to disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. Next you may want to move this out of your way and just carefully hold it right here or if it's if it's easier you can just disconnect the arm but i'm just going to leave it attached the next bolt is back here it's in a kind of tight spot once you have all the bolts removed you want to carefully lower the motor out carefully lower this part out of that hole Notice this tongue on the motor, so whenever you're installing it, you have to make sure it slides up into where it needs to go. And then also this thing here will hook into place to hold the motor where it goes. When you're putting the motor back in, like I said, make sure that top tongue is in where it needs to go and this as well. And then also, I'll, I'll tighten up these bolts. Um, but I recommend installing the lower bolts first and then that top one. Then you'll also want to make sure to plug these back in. Make sure you tighten all three bolts before you go and connect 
the arm to the door. Make sure you have the up arrow pointing up and then we'll need to run this through here and mount the new arm on. You can remove this from the door, this panel. That makes uh, removal and install of this arm a whole lot easier. I'm just always very cautious with plastic panels because of how fragile they are. Tighten this back up with a 12 millimeter ratchet. Put this plastic panel back on. The nice thing is it's got a little slot for that arm to go through. Don't forget to plug this back in. Next you want to very carefully put all the plastic paneling back in place. You also need to put this fuse cover back on and then you'll put that rear cover on and that should be it. Put this back in. Make sure you want to carefully put this back in. Don't forget these two bolts. Make sure to go around and pushing in. There's a lot of little friction things on the paneling. Make sure it all gets seated properly. Don't forget to reconnect your negative battery terminal. Also make sure that your air intake manifold is seated properly.